Hello guys, how are you? Hope so you are fine. In this video, we will show you the top 10 things you need to do to prepare for the coronavirus. Let's start the video. Number 10. Stockpile food and water. The average person burns between 1 and a half and 3,000 calories a day, but without food, the body begins to break down. Dying from hunger is terrible, and it can take as many as 70 days. However, without liquids, dehydration will lead to death in just 3 or 4. Be sure to stockpile a couple of months of canned and dehydrated food per person. Military rations pack a ton of calories and have a shelf life of up to 5 years, so get some if you can. You'll need enough water for at least 2 weeks, but preferably 4. Half a gallon a day for one person is about right. Number 9. Buy essential tools. If the plague you're attempting to survive is worse than the Black Death, there's a good chance society will take a little while to get back on track after everything dies down. After all, if history's taught us anything, it's that anyone can succumb to illness, including monarchs, presidents, dictators, and the guy who rings you up at the supermarket. If a big portion of the population dies off quickly, you're going to have to fend for yourself, and that means you're going to need some tools. Number 8. Get yourself some weapons. Survivalists are well known for stockpiling guns and ammo, and not just for hunting. If the worst happens, and enough people die, society will crumble and collapse. After that happens, life will look a lot like a post-apocalyptic movie, and you're going to need to fend for yourself. As soon as zombies start walking about, they'll kill you and your whole family for a hearty meal and a safe place to stay. Your best defense is a good offense, and that means you'll need weapons. Number 7. Stock up on disinfectant. Plague doctors wore strange masks with beaks filled with herbs meant to purify the air as they breathed. This was because they thought disease was spread through bad smells. That idea has been disproven, but it does give us a good example of how to prepare yourself when an infection is airborne or spread through touch. Standard consumer products that kill most deadly pathogens are cheap and easily found. Stock up on bleach which can disinfect anything and as I mentioned earlier, it can make water safe to drink. Number 6. Create a safe room and house. You're going to need to keep your house safe, and that means you'll have to turn to that trusty item that's helped keep the US military running smoothly for decades, duct tape. It's easy to tear, sticks to everything and will help you secure your home and keep the virus out. And while you're buying the tape, grab a bunch of plastic drop cloths. If you think closing the front door and shutting all the windows will keep the virus at bay, ask yourself, when was the last time an insect got in? If spiders and ants can find their way into your house, so can an airborne disease. Use the drop cloths to cover every window and door, sealing them with duct tape as you go. If you have a fireplace, close the flue and seal that up too. The last thing you need to do is establish a quarantine room somewhere in your home. This is where you would put someone who is showing signs of infection to isolate them from the rest of the group. Number 5. Prep your immune system. The only defense our bodies have against a potentially deadly infection is its immune system. The best way to keep yourself in fighting shape is to take everything from lysine and vitamin C to exercising regularly. You're going to want to stockpile some medicine, so gather up as much as you can. Score some antibiotics, and ensure that anyone who needs insulin or an EpiPen has a ready supply. Number 4. Create a bug out bag. One of the earliest things a government will do when there's an outbreak is to quarantine the infected areas. This has happened in Wuhan, and within a relatively short period of time, more than 10 million people have been forced to stay put. But while this was happening, foreigners who weren't infected were evacuated. If the same thing happens where you are, you may find yourself forced to flee with little or no notice. In these situations, it's always good to have a bug out bag ready. Number 3. Prepare for a barter economy. If the outbreak wipes out a large portion of the local population, the survivors will be left to pick up the pieces. 
All of that precious cash you got out of the bank may not be much good in the aftermath. You're going to need to tap into history and learn the benefits of a barter economy. Everything in a post-pandemic situation will rely on trade, nobody is going to give up their penicillin for a bar of gold or a wad of cash. Number 2. Get hold of some boredom busters. Once an outbreak occurs and spreads to your area, you may find yourself quarantined for a long time. If the power has gone out, you can forget about watching The Mandalorian or playing Fortnite. But that doesn't mean you have to let boredom be your downfall. Even if the power's gone out, there's still a lot you can do to stay sane when the social influencer in your group realizes that Instagram's gone and he needs some attention. Make sure you have lots of books to read. Get a variety of entertaining titles but you should also keep some survivalist manuals on hand as well. You never know when they might save your life. Number 1. Prepare for the worst. It's possible that someone in your group will die. When that happens, their body will begin to decompose almost immediately. It will release stored gases and excrement, and it can still spread disease. Ebola is especially nasty where infection from corpses is concerned, thanks to the massive amount of blood involved. But a corpse can be dangerous even if death was caused naturally. It is essential that you don't touch the body without gloves and a mask. Disposing of a corpse is no easy task, and if you've watched our video on incredible smells, you'll know that the smell of burning humans is not something you want to experience. Instead of cremation, make like a Mexican drug cartel and dissolve the remains. Good luck, we may all need it. All this is for today's video. Hope so, you like this video. Please press the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you.